So I didn't want to do this video, but Softcube is kind of forcing me to do it. Um, their customer service is just abysmal, uh, to put it nicely. And so I have a, a console one and I have a console one fader uh, running on a Mac uh, with Logic Pro, latest version of Mac OS, latest version of Logic, and latest version, of course, of um, the software for console one. Now, in the last version, the problem was that especially the fader constantly hung up. Um, it wouldn't switch between the channels, it shouldn't do anything. I had to uninstall it, reinstall it, didn't help much. Um, and the Mac went to sleep and it woke up again. Usually console one was completely screwed up. I had to basically shut the computer down, bring it up again. And when I started logic, it was acting up again in weirdest ways. So now I've installed the latest version of the Softube console one software. And now this happens. So you go to the, the, on, the on screen display and it's too big the window, so I'd like to make it smaller. Well, that's all great, but it doesn't scale the content, right? So completely unusable. Um, switching to um, the mirror view reveals this and basically doesn't show any of the mirrors. And so it's unusable. It's totally unusable, right? If I start logic, what I usually do is that I have the meter view on the bottom so that I actually can see the channels in console one and then see when I switch them where I am, right? Because for whatever reason, console one and our soft tube doesn't manage to integrate this thing properly into logic. By the way, the good old Behringer here uh, does it without any problem, right? I can, can switch up and down between channels. It's all great. I have the fader working. It's all good. But console one, no, no way. So, um, yeah, I mean, if I, if I switch to the other display, um, I know. You see that it actually switches now between the channels, but it's not really helpful because I can't use this thing, right? If I, if I make it bigger, also, uh, that's something I can do. Uh, oh, now it's too big. Now it shows me a red kind of square, um, but it, it simply doesn't scale. How can that happen? Jesus Christ. I mean, this is software at its worst. Uh, and I'm a software developer, so I should know. Um, yeah, and here is the, the alleged meter bridge, which of course doesn't show anything. Um, if I make it bigger, um, oh, it turns out it's not the meter bridge, it's yet another view into the, uh, the main window of console one. Of course, here you can see that it works, but that's not all what I want, right? If I go to settings, um, and I go to the the view modes, of course I don't see anything now because it's it's completely rotten. So I have to move the window up a bit and then have to drag it down and hopefully, hopefully, like I just re reset the OS view window. By the way, that doesn't help anything. It resets the window, great, it still has a red thing on top. And um, so switching between modes though, no, it doesn't work. Um, so I can also now go ahead and say, well, I dis disable the, this view and maybe I, I enable the meters view and um, go back. And then um, all it does now, this is now the meters view. Again, totally unusable, totally unusable. I mean, how can they deliver even something like this? I mean, this thing has cost me so many nerves over the last few weeks and months. Um, and their support just doesn't react. They simply don't react. They don't, you know, they send me an email every other month 
do you still have the problem? And I reply, yes, I still have the problem. Please fix it. And nothing happens again. So Softube, if you watch this, get your act together and fix this bloody software. I mean, I spent like a thousand euros on this whole stuff and it doesn't work. It never really did, right? Um, the console one alone is actually pretty good and I love it. Uh, but the failure since I have that, I mean, this system is just so unstable and it, it's just a nightmare. So again, Softube, if you watch this, get your act together and fix this software for good.